causing the disposal of unwanted organisms. Wow. Exactly. Water oscillating waste. It's really great to be paired with someone so smart, Sam. talking about the same guy. Hi, Alex, Clover, Sam. Hi, David. Wait, why are you two looking at my true love that way? Your true love? David's the guy I was talking about. Well, I inspire him intellectually. Whatever. We practically held hands in track and field. Alex, mm. Sam, look at you two competing over a guy when he obviously likes me. We'll see about that. Yeah, all's fair in love and love. Girls, we have a rather peculiar situation on our hands. A single country is dominating the Winter Olympics. Let me get this straight. You pulled us away from David because of some silly games? The Olympics are not just games, Clover, nor are they silly. That's right. They're a wonderful international sporting event that celebrates the spirit of competition. Something David and I could appreciate. Alex, when will you realize there is no competition? <sighs> Girls, focus. Here's the team dominating speed skating and ice hockey, and again in the biathlon. In fact, they've swept all the events thus far. And the weird part is? The odds of a single team winning every medal in every event are quite minuscule, not to mention the fact that the team excelling in winter sports is from tropical Zanzibar. So someone's doing something, we just don't know who or what. Exactly. Now, please help yourself to the Digit Decoder credit card, enhanced with a razor-sharp swiping edge, bracelet handcuffs, heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, just sticky enough gloves, and awful boots. All weather fleas ultralight. <gasps> Completely hideous. Totally your style, Sam. Hope David likes them. This mission is too perfect. I'll go undercover as one of the athletes. Oh, so you can tell David you were in the Olympics? Forget it. Yeah, forget it. Besides, I'm the only one here who has any business wearing a form-fitting microfiber. Hmm. Ooh. Alex. Thanks, Chair. I knew you'd see it my way. You will go undercover as a reporter. Sam, you'll go undercover as a trainer. And Clover, you will be a bobsledder. <gasps> but that's a burly person sport. I'm dainty. Don't be so modest, Clover. Your thighs are stronger than anyone's I know. Cheerio, girls. Normal athletes to me. Oh, well then, case closed. Let's tell Jerry and go home. Insults won't solve this case, and the sooner we solve it, the sooner I can return to my true love. Shopping. <laughs> That's it. I'm officially in need of some alone time. Fine by me. I second the motion. I'm at the Zanzibar ski jump, and everything appears normal. I need to look for something unusual, out of the ordinary, bizarre. Jump! My 
mind if I get an interview? Not at all. Man, I must have been going faster than I thought. Either that or you've been pumping a little too much iron lately. Actually, I don't work out. Don't work out? But how can that be? You're an Olympic athlete. I just have really good coaching. I better get fitted for another uniform before my next jump. a lot, huh? Not really. Then how'd you get so good? I have a great coach. In fact, he taught us this routine just yesterday, and I was scared I wouldn't have it memorized, but he promised everything would be fine, and it is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're totally knotted up. <gasps> What's wrong? Nothing. Um, how do you feel now? Much better. The kink's gone. <laughs> Like I belong in this husky crowd. <laughs> oh, that's attractive. Mental note, send Olympic team hankies. Oh, oh. What is that? Ugh, gross. That is not your everyday sneeze. There you are. We've been waiting for his replacement. <gasps> Let's go, we're up. Oh, no, no, no. There must be some misunderstanding. I'm just here to observe. <laughs> done this before and I'm just an intern. Coach wouldn't steer us wrong. If you're here, it's because he knows you're ready. No, I swear! By seven seconds. I told you Coach knows what he's doing. With his guidance, we're unstoppable. Yay, Coach! Huh? Alex, Sam, Clover, Alex, Sam, Clover. Well, something weird is definitely going on, but I don't think the athletes are cheating. I don't know. Take a look at this. <gasps> what is it? Huh? Something from a bobsledder's nose. <laughs> You must have been really undercover for him not to notice. I didn't take it from his nose, he sneezed it out. Ew! I'll send it to Jerry for analysis. Other than this, all I got was that the bobsled team really likes their coach. Yeah, the ski jumper said the same thing. So what? did Mira, the figure skater. Well, this is one coach I'd like to meet. Good idea. Let's see what we can find out about him first. <laughs> Way to ruin our stealthy <sighs> approach, Clover. It's not my fault I'm allergic to daffodils. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Memento for David. I mean, I brought six bags for the weekend, and this guy fits an entire lab in one bag? Why such complex charts on the athletes? It's all about their biology, chemistry, and DNA. Huh? Hey, Jer, what do you have? Interesting development, girls. The bug you sent is a synthetic microorganism that's undetectable by testing. Once inside the body, it releases not only performance-enhancing hormones, but it downloads knowledge as well. <gasps> so no one need ever train again? Precisely. I guess that's how Mira knew her routine. Ha! I knew they were cheating! <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Jerry, there's a whole colony of those.
those bugs, enough to engineer an entire Olympic team of super athletes. <gasps> Gotta go! Quick, hide in the closet! Huh? Mira! The figure skater? Yeah, only something's majorly wrong with her. We gotta do something. And soon. Looks like she's shutting down. Oh, shh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I haven't worked all the bugs out of my bugs yet. Oh, shh. Too much exposure eventually causes the opposite effect. Aw, oh, it's almost sad to see my first guinea pig go. She's a human being, you cheater! Uh -huh. Guys, you were supposed to shush me! So much for hanging around here! Just sticky enough. More like too sticky. Get them! Find out who they are! is just a passing fancy. I was a trained skier for the 68 Olympics. You can't outrun me on the slopes. Bring it on, Gramps! said I was going to take home the gold for Zanzibar in the Winter Games. Okay, so I was a little optimistic back then. But now, thanks to the microchip bug, my super athletes are dominating. At what cost? You're putting innocent lives at stake. Everyone's a critic. If you want to see your friends again, you'll take Mira's place and win the gold. Me? But I can't even skate. I mean, I know I have the grace of a figure skater, but... Haven't you been listening to my athletes? All you need is good coaching. I'll feed you all the information you need. No thanks, I'm really not very hungry. Not a problem. You'll need strength and agility as well. My dogs are trained to continue until they get the command from me to stop. And your point is? If you don't win the competition, this is going to be a one-way trip. You'll never see your little friends again. March! <laughs> Please, Alex, 
You really are a good athlete. But don't! You'll crack the ice! Are you saying I'm fat? No, simple math. We need to disperse our weight so the ice doesn't crack again. Oh, right. Good thinking, Sam. We have to hurry. Clover's life depends on us. And Mira's. I just hope we find an antidote in time. Or some sort of bug zapper. Wait a minute. Clover said the bobsledder sneezed his out. We just have to make them sneeze. I'll get Mira. You go to Clover. <laughs> you know, these boots aren't so awful after all. Maybe I shouldn't have given you three buds. You think? Shouldn't I know the routine by now? <laughs> no, seriously, I don't know what to do. Just give me a hint. I mean, turn, skip forward, backward, flip, slap shot, what? Coach wouldn't put you out here if you didn't know what to do. Story. I'll tell you on the way to the competition. you that cheetahs only cheat themselves? We should probably explain to the judges. No need. Already taken care of. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me. It's what we do. It's so great that Mira and her partner won the gold fair and square. Yeah, no tricks. The way it should be. Good sports all the way. Hi, Clover, Sam, Alex. Hi, David. David, you can't keep us waiting forever. We need to know which one of us you like. What do you mean? I like all of you. No, 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 no. Which of us do you, do you know, like, like? Oh. We want you to pick one of us. You don't just pick a girl like a product off a shelf. We don't mind. Really, go ahead. Tell him it's me. Clover, Alex, Sam, please. You're all really great. I can't possibly choose between you. I'm sorry. Did you see that? He was looking right at me! Okay, this is crazy. We said we weren't gonna do this. Right. Good sportsmanship and all that. And besides, he was staring into my eyes. 
bitch. All right. He was so checking me out. You're both delusional. It's me he wants. <laughs> <laughs>